Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about this truth that we always have God's ear and he's always there to give us his attention. I have to admit, I have not always been the greatest listener, especially if I was listening to somebody who I felt that I had to respond to in a certain way. Maybe I disagreed with what I thought they were going to say. Maybe I presumed where I thought the story was going to go. But in any case, I was only half listening to the person and taking that time to put together a rebuttal or a response in my head. I learned an awful lot about the art of truly being engaged when you're listening to somebody else. From a pastor, Don was an amazing communicator, extremely intelligent. Now, Don being a theologian and a scholar, he was quite logical in the way that he looked at life. He liked things that followed in a progressive order. Now, insert my best friend into the picture. My best friend is not a linear thinker or a linear processor. She kind of meanders when she's telling a tale or when she has something important to say. And she kind of goes in a circle and eventually if you follow the circle, it will center in on the point that she was trying to make. And I actually adore that within her. It is actually a joy for me to go along with her as she's telling me something that's going on in her life. But you can imagine these two people, Dawn, a linear thinker, and my friend meeting together. Well, they actually liked each other quite a bit. Uh, but one Sunday after church, Dawn had finished preaching and Dawn lived with a disability, so it was difficult for him to stand for long stretches of time. Well, my friend really needed to talk with him after church. Dawn knew my friend for many years as her pastor and he kind of knew that it would take her a while to get to her point, but he wanted to listen to her. So he held up a hand and I was watching this from across the room and I was so touched by this. He held up a hand to say, hey, just a sec. And he went and he got himself something to sit on and then graciously invited my friend to share from her heart. And my friend was able to communicate what she needed to. Don was able to give his full attention to her. And it was such an honoring thing because Don knew how important it was for her to feel heard and truly heard and truly respected and, and not somebody who he was hoping would not be along because he was tired. Don knew the art of attentive listening, but you can only learn this art through practice. It is difficult to stay in the present moment without anticipating the future or dwelling on the past. When God knows he has our ear though, he delights in encouraging us in the art of listening, staying present with him and anticipating that he will speak to us. He is infinitely patient as our instructor though. And he is more than gracious as we step into this new place of really trying to center in so we can hear him. It's easy to fall into condemnation though when our minds slip, when we're having a quiet time or we're praying or somebody else is praying. And at those times, it's tempting to believe the lie that oh, we're just not cut out for this prayer thing or trying to have a dialogue with God thing. No, you would think 
it was ridiculous for a child learning how to walk to give up learning how to walk just because they fall on their rear end a few times. No, what do parents do? They cheer and clap and rejoice for those few steps and then they urge their child on, but they don't focus on the fall and say, sorry, you're just not caught out to be a walker. Oh well, God, like an earthly parent, urges us to dust ourselves off and continue our journey with him. We will get it and we will recognize the way that he speaks to us. And the Holy Spirit is just standing by waiting for us to ask him to coach us. John 14 verse 26, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all the things I have said to you. And this is Jesus talking to his disciples the night before he was going to die on the cross. And he knew that the disciples probably weren't paying attention all the time because they're human and our minds can go off on little trails all the time. But he says this, the Holy Spirit will bring to remembrance all the things I have said to you. So don't despair if you're not remembering everything, but I would get a pen and paper or a notepad on your laptop or your smartphone and write down those little things that come to your mind when you're talking to God. Because those little things that come to your mind are probably from God. God created us to be in communion with him, give and take. And through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, every believer has full access to the dwelling place of God. We can enter the Holy of Holies. And in that place of intimacy, God will reveal his heart to us. And he will pour his wisdom into our hearts if we are willing to stop and listen without trying to formulate and answer before he finishes talking to us. If we enter into his presence with a listening heart, we will be richly rewarded. Proverbs 2 verse 1 to 5. If you receive my words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, yes, if you call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding. If you seek it like silver and search for it like a hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. So today, don't be afraid to step out in that little place of listening. Step by step, you're going to find your capacity to hear from the Lord expand if you ask the Holy Spirit to quicken to you the Bible passages that you are reading. What does that mean? That means that ask the Holy Spirit to show you what God would like to speak to your heart from what you're reading and expect him to speak and have some way of writing down what you feel the Lord is saying to you down and you're going to go back and look at those little notes, those little nuggets, those tiny little jottings here and there, and it will encourage you because God loves to encourage those that seek after him.